morning everyone so today we're gonna install this kill switch here onto my car um, what we're gonna do is break the uh, negative terminal so basically break the circuit um, and kind of try to find a find a mounting point for this thing uh, these are good these are good not only for like security you know for safety um, you know if you want to just get rid of um, you know battery power going to your engine but uh, also if you work on your car like at least once a month I mean these these things will come in handy because most of the times when you do a job on your call out car it calls to um, you know undo the negative terminal on the battery so that's uh, it's just a quick instead of undoing that terminal you know it's just a quick boom boom you know and you're done so I'm going to show you first I'm going to show you how these things work and then uh, we'll get started uh, installing this thing so I've got my voltmeter here and I'm going to turn it uh, all the way down to ohms which measures resistance so you'll notice that when I hit these two to get these uh, positive and negative together you get a close to zero rating if not zero um, say I say I touch to two totally different you know wires together just one totally different wire one totally different wire nothing happens because there's nothing between this and this that's kind of that. so there's resistance is one um, so the way this switch works is uh, it's in the off position right now because the keys the keys loose and you can pull it out so when I hit these two terminals the same thing happens it's the same idea it's the two same same two separate you know wires they're not connected in any way um, but when I turn this thing on the circuit is, is closed it's, it's complete and you go one two and then there's your point zero 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 resistance and that's how that works so basically uh, it's, it's really a, a simple concept so you want to find your negative battery terminal there might be a couple terminals you know coming out of, off the frame a couple of them going to the the battery um, but you find your your negative terminal and you basically you make everything going into one side um, and then you make a, a dedicated wire going back to the battery and then that way you can just break it and complete it whenever you want to alright so I found my two um, negative terminal leads where they uh, they hit the frame um, underneath this fuse box here uh, that's one right there that's a nice short one uh, it's hitting the hitting there and then it's going straight to the uh, to the terminal right to the battery and the second one is right down here and it's going uh, all the way down I don't know why they leave these exposed they leave the strands exposed from the factory um, but that one's going to the side of the transmission and um, what I'm gonna do this is a this is a 10 year old car 11 year old car actually and um, I'm just gonna put brand new cables I got these at Walmart for like this one was six and um, could probably make them for cheaper but um, so this one was six bucks and then these shorter ones here are four bucks. They call them lawn, lawn and garden, but I mean they're the same exact gauge. They're they're uh, six gauge, so they'll work just fine. And they have the right um, ring terminal on them. That have removed the uh, negative terminal going to the side of the tranny. Uh, just there was just one little little clip here, and uh, now I'm just undoing the second one that goes underneath that was going underneath the fuse box 
big load of steel wool and a little bit of sandpaper and just clean my the points where our uh, cables are connected to on the frame so we get a nice solid ground so now that we have both of our new uh, ground cables run from both ends again this might be different in your application you know a lot of cars are different obviously you know it could just be one cable that you need to to hook up um, and so I've got my kill switch here what I'm going to do is put all my ground wires you may have three you know you may have one you may have two you may have three so put all your ground wires onto one side of your kill switch here you kind of kind of got kind of want to cross it like this so you're not so you get a nice tight okay okay so we have our two negative connections both going to the frame one and two going to one side of our kill switch on the other side of our kill switch we have one dedicated wire that um, I have bolted right in into the um, to the terminal that goes straight to the battery so that's it and um, I highly recommend testing this um, before you know, mount up your kill switch so the kill switch is in the off position I know that because the key is out of it um, got all of our connections bolted in let's see if we can start the car Totally dead. That's good. So now we are going to put our kill switch key in our kill switch. Turn it to the on position and try to start the car up. So now that we know that everything works, uh, you just want to find a uh, mounting spot to your liking. Again, you know, you can go out and buy 20 feet of 6 gauge or, or 4 gauge, you know, run it through the firewall inside your glove box, which uh, I might do, and uh, customize it, you know, however you want. So before you mount this thing, a really good idea is to uh, grab some electrical tape, some good quality electrical tape, and uh, just tape both sides. Uh, it's going to be underneath, so you won't even see it. You know, depending on where you mount it. I'm mounting mine, you know, totally upright, so you're not going to see anything at the bottom. So, highly recommend um, taping those up. You don't want uh, you don't want those two terminals to touch. So we got our. Um, our switch mounted in there. Um, we've already tested uh, whether or not the kill switch works. It does. And the last step uh, I'm going to do is just grab some zip ties and make sure that I have a little bit of extra slack. And I just want to make sure that nothing's um, you know getting tangled in the way of my shifter cables or anything like that. There's zip tie these two to this bracket here just so I mean, we've got our shift linkages here just so nothing's you know you don't have anything um, getting in the way of anything else that'd be a bad thing so but other than that uh, you know this job's done and um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I want to thank everyone that has subscribed uh, if you haven't subscribed please do you know I'll be making a lot more videos like this um, so, uh, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Hang on, how could I forget?